Uh, we're playing tennis today. I, I've played tennis on stream in the past, but this new tennis game that I uh, that I hadn't played before came and was like, do you want to stream our game? And I was like, little do you know, I'm a huge tennis fan. So this works out pretty well for me. So we're, the game is called Tennis Manager 2022, which like, honestly, when you talk, I've, I've played it for 20 minutes. I did open it before to see what it looked like, but I've never actually played it. So we're going to see how naturally good I am at tennis management games or just management games in general. Do you guys actually watch tennis or am I just the only one rocking? You see, I, I did start a game. Look at that. Create a career. All right. This guy looks like he doesn't know where he is. Age 18. Appearance, that dude. I know I was thinking Lovey Smith too. I was literally thinking Lovey Smith too. This looks exactly like Lovey Smith. If you don't know who Lovey, it's not actually Lovey Smith, but it's like a dead ringer. So he's a famous uh, football coach, took a team to the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's Lovey Smith. So this is a football coach, an American football coach that took a, a team to the Super Bowl. And this is also an American football coach that took a team to the Super Bowl. Also, no. Okay, I am totally going to be this guy, though. Uh, wait, no. L let's check out the... the like, let's check out the seniors. Thierry Henry in the bottom left. Oh, we're Thierry Henry. I'm Z Zealand. I am uh, 35. I'm Thierry Henry. And we're going to the next screen. Having no... F okay, okay. So now I pick my experience level. What do we What do we say? We uh, Seasoned. Like a nice steak. I don't, I'm not going legend. I'm not going... Like, we're not... Okay, we're not turning this up way too high. And then, therefore, not having a good time. Right? Was that the idea? It was Rafa... I'm Rafa Zedal. Actually, that's so much better. That's so much better. Roger Zadal. No, this is the coach. All right, this isn't the player. The coach's name is Roger Zadal. My experience. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Experience to find so many attribute points your manager will start the journey with. So I'm a legend. All right, we're going to try and. This is the first time we're ever playing this game. So we're not. It, this is like starting with a Continental Pro badge, basically. Having no flaws, so style, uh, manager style defines the way your attributes points are divided. If you like, you can customize how you can customize how the points are divided. Okay. But it, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll be versatile. We'll be a legend. Uh, create your academy and your player, or I can manage an existing academy. What do you guys think? I feel like I should create my own. Create but highest level. Okay, we're creating our academy and our player. Hmm, what logo? Nothing, just fire. <laughs> a window in the Dante's Inferno. Also, we're a great tennis academy with wonderful amenities for your, your, your young child. The fires of hell. Uh, do you want to burn calories? Come to Dante's Inferno Tennis Camp. That's what we're doing. Dante's Inferno. We're in the United States. Oh, we could go to the Alban Islands. I legit, I legitimately don't actually wait. Oh, that's not where I thought they were. Come on. What is that? Why is that its own thing? Why is it not in just Finland or Sweden? What do we like? It's I know it's not a country, but like, what are we doing? All right, we're gonna we're gonna make Dante's in front of. We're actually gonna put it in the United States though. Having played tennis games before, United States is where you want to be. A lot of tournaments, budget um very high because we have no idea what we're doing. Academy vision: the academy seeks to improve its reputation in the world of tennis without prioritizing one aspect. We're gonna make it a high-profile academy. All right, your first player. We're gonna create a player. The player's name is obviously going to be Ali Ayal. What do I, hmm. I'm gonna go with like gets in shape faster than others thanks to matches. That seems like we can just play more matches that way. That totally works. 
See, I don't think I'm going to be able to just make like a superstar, but we'll make him 17 and then start playing ATP stuff at 17. We can go hothead. The events of the match affect him more than the average player. Starts each match with extra motivation. Starts each match with less stress. Uh, player. Okay, so loyal sounds like a good way to go there. So Ali Ayal. Uh, not Tokalau. Not Tokalau. Tuvalu. Boom. There we go. Let's go. Alright, so I'm a... Uh, okay, I get to pick my playing style. So serve and volley or big server, attacker, power player, aggressive baseliner, all court player, counter puncher, uh, machine baseliner. The heck is that? A big weapon that relentlessly hits the ball with pace, causing his opponents to run back and forth from one side to the other. He doesn't seem to miss. He doesn't seem to tire. He demoralizes you with stamina. I love that. Tact the player strikes the ball with pace at the right time using any number of effects. He wrong foots his opponents. I would love to outsmart people. All right. Uh, all court player. A player is comfortable using a lot of different shots, adapts to the opponent, and chooses the shot that best exploits the opponent's weakness. This player uses incredible variety in a very offensive way. Okay. I feel like that's what we should want to be, right? No, we'll just very generic um, sized player, I think, is the way to go here. We have no idea what it affects, so we don't want to be too tall. We don't want to be too short. Absolutely one-handed backhand, and we'll be right-handed. Oh, my player is being generated. All right, so we're from Tuvalu. So I'm going to go with that. Kind of like that, too. We only have three outfits, so I guess we... Oh, it's because I'm I'm under contract with a rebound CG brand for all their equipment at the start of their career. Okay, so these are the these are the options I have. I'm gonna go with the black. No, 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 the white tennies are definitely the way to go. All right, this is our look. This is our sponsor clothes. All right, next. Oh, we're in. Okay, we are in the game. Okay, navigation. The continue button allows you to move forward in time. I'm okay. I'm familiar with that. It may change to reply required or message to be read if an important message was received or to play match when your player's match is ready to start. Moreover, the moreover pausing the calendar will uh, end it after the next slot of the day. Next, mails. Messaging system's main tool for managing your academy using the category filters. Very handy. Right there. Okay, we are in. Let's go to circuits. Okay, every time we click on something, it's gonna do the same thing FM does. It's gonna do like the, this is how this part works in 25 easy steps. Except this is honestly only three. Here are the rules of the different circuits. Men's professional circuit includes nearly 2,000 players and 700 tournaments. Women's professional circuit includes nearly 1,500 players. We're not in the women's circuit, but I guess we could be. The amateur circuit is accessible only to players under the age of 18 at the beginning of the season. Players under 18 can play on pro and amateur circuits at the same time. They have the two rankings for the priority given to the professional ranking. I'm number one! Not. Where am I? Go to the bottom. Am I tied for last or am I... I mean, I suppose we can look somewhere else. So this is junior... Oh, oh, that's junior boys and junior girls. Okay. So we've got a... Oh, they do have 250. Okay, they do have 250, 500, and... Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So it's like Masters 250, Masters 500, Masters 1000 is the way. Because obviously, they don't have the rights. I mean, I don't... I, who does have the rights to, um like, tennis stuff? I don't even know who, who bought that. Cool. So, team... The supervisor screen allows you to view your staff status at a glance. We do love staff management. Low morale, unfulfilled goals. Don't want any of those. A poorly mastered game plan, bad tournament scheduling. Nothing can escape you. Okay, so we've got Ali Ayal right here. Satisfaction is um, zero. Here you'll find the sports goals that you have negotiated with your player. An indicator of what should be wanted. Carefully as it can lead the player to ask to terminate their contract. Okay, so it's Instead of trying to stay in good with the board, you have to stay in good with the player. Supervision. So they, we have three game plans. 
And we are ranked 637th in the world for juniors at the age of 17. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. I like the UI here. I like this. So this is I all. Ollie I all. There I have. They have stars. Chat. Apparently only three and a half star potential. Unbelievable. Affiliation Dante's Inferno. I, I forgot. I forgot that we named it Dante's Inferno. Progress the player's skill on each type of surface. Got it? Okay, so we're... That, there we go. So this is the season preparation. Schedule training. Schedule training. Schedule training. Schedule tournament. Tournament registration allows you to register your player for upcoming tournaments as well as view past tournaments. Refine your search using the filters. Okay. You can register. So that's good. This is like a player search screen, essentially. Uh, you can register your player for maximum one tournament per week. That checks out. Check this option to delegate the, uh, the task to an assistant. Be careful. The assistant may prefer to register a player for tournament instead of a planned week of training. Got it. Okay. So, right. Okay. So we have our training. Okay. You can modify your player's training sessions planned in their own, uh, own tab. Okay. So you mod, you set like this is a training week and then this is what this player needs to do. Modify your player's training. Select a program, which will set a group's training sessions, right? We should have really good coaches because we have like, you know, Dante's Inferno is the best tennis academy in the world. So, oh, dude. Now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hire an entire group of people to test this. <sighs> yeah, I know the Australian Open's week too. There's no way we can get into that. We're not even ranked in the professional circuit yet. We have to like play a professional tournament to get ranked. Can we build a new stadium? I don't think so. Current week. Let's go to next week. All right, so what is the game's normal recommendation for training look like? That's that's what I'm very curious to know. Program. Okay, they have different programs. So they want... This is a tactics program. Hydrotherapy. What What's hydrotherapy doing? Hydrotherapy is just raising my physical condition. So um, what if we have like different... So I sorry. Just, we, we have massage. We can do some yoga. Electrotherapy or hydrotherapy. So hydrotherapy doubles your physical condition improvement. You can't see that, but it does right here. We've got double that. So I think that's just because we're rich. <laughs> you know, like there are worse problems to have. You know, I, mean? I think we're just rich. All right, game plans. This feels like an important part of it. The tab's similar to the one in the match. Uh, but here you can save your game plans and organize them. A game plan is a strategy your player follows during the match. Why it's important to be tailored to your player's abilities. You can define three preferred game plans in advance. There's a list of basic game plans. You can create your own. The number you... All right, there's basic game plans. We're probably like basic tactics. We're just going to use those to start. Uh, editing a game plan. Choose the type of instruction to edit. Okay. Should be able to, uh, to figure this out. So we've got offensive baseline play... On the body, play aim for the opponent's weak shot to wait for an opening. Hey, wait. Just do yoga. It works for Djokovic. Maybe we should. So we've got our training, which we feel like, okay, we're going to do a little power serving. Perhaps. Contract with equipment manufacturers. Ooh, we can get fancy to it. Give me that Nike. Whoosh. Choice of equipment model. Uh, some models give bonuses on certain attributes. <laughs> okay. Awesome, you just get a better tennis racket. Uh, details the contract with the associated target, the bonus. So I'm losing power with this racket. That's how bad they are. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any clothing contracts. I don't think we're cool enough. We haven't negotiated goals, tournament registration, report statistics ranked. Okay. So I can play both tournaments. And this is like a map out of my ranking. And what is this? Your player's trophy room. Oh, that's cool. We'll be able to see all the huge freaking dubs we picked up. Let's go look at the staff now. Dubs. We're going to play a tournament soon. I hit continue soon. It's important to assign talented staff to your players to maximize their progress. Some positions are specific. Coach or physical therapist. 
Uh, it is impossible to place someone in this position who does not have been recruited. Who has not been recruited to do that? Okay, the choice is made based on efficiency of the staff expressed in stars. Wow. I feel so comfortable working with stuff. A <laughs> live, live look at Spurs trophy room. All right, I'm done. That's technical training. We have really good coaching staff. Okay, um, coach, I'm meh. But I'm a legend. I am Thierry Henry, after all. My technical training. Where am I? Oh, we just do Lodger. A boy, Heath Lodger, seems to be better than. than me. I, I don't know. Apparently, the technical training can only be undertaken. I assumed I could just put myself on it. But apparently, it can only be undertaken by Ryan Gosling over here. No. Heath Lodger is the one that makes sense. Very experienced. We can recruit train. We are paying a lot of trainers. They have zero assignments. We need to recruit other, other players, I think, is what we need to do. Instead of non-sports-oriented staff. Oh, recruiters. So you're telling me I can like add people to my academy. Each season, your board of directors will lay out objectives. Well, Dante's Inferno, a uh, sport, financial, and image. Interesting. Okay. We have none. I'm assuming those are coming soon. Finances gives you an idea of the amount of money you're spending. We have a lot of money, so hopefully we don't have to worry about that. Our infrastructure shows the different departments in your academy. The different departments can have this. This game is incredibly detailed. I uh, can have several in sub infrastructures that you can improve how you decide to invest defines much of what you can do as a manager maximum number of players and staff access to care generating additional income surface control bonus okay so we have oh my goodness you can spell i can throw two million dollars that seems like an excellent idea now I, I don't think we're gonna do that uh medical center we do not have a great psychology department Boo! Looking forward to the golden generation of two-star potential regions. That's what we're working on it. This is tennis manager. Yes, it is FM for tennis, it would seem. And uh, we don't have any messages, Zealand, because you haven't hit continue. Now search. You can click on the evaluate button on the screen to, uh, on the search player's screen or on a player profile not in the pro team. It'll automatically add an evaluation task about the player on the evaluation screen. My God, you scout players. The task is by default assigned to the least staffed scout, but you can assign a, scout, a specific scout after. An evaluation consists of bringing accurate attributes, values of the player, an estimation of his, her level of and potential, but also his, her personality traits. The time an evaluation can take depends on the scout's player evaluation attribute. This is incredible. Um, search for players. In this interface, you search for players with a couple different filters. From the screen, you can access their profiles, begin negotiations to potentially recruit them. You can also ask your scouts to evaluate the level and the potential of players by clicking on the evaluate button. All right, we know that part. What if we go to the circuit, we go to the junior boys ranking, and we go to Zhongshun Sibeng and propose him a contract? He's at a local tennis club. He's the number one ranked junior in the world. What if we did that? 16-year-old Zheng Sheng Si Bing. And then we just, uh... I mean, if we, if, we, if we hacked the system, is it too stupid to just go to the ranking and be like, yo, you're the highest-ranked junior player in the world. Victor Lilev and Bruno Kuskara evaluate. Oops. I, I now, I feel that buzz. I feel that buzz in the back of my brain when I'm finding Wonder Kids. Arthur feels the Frenchman. Okay. Uh, junior girls. No way. Andorra. Absolutely. Victoria Himalaya. Uh, hi, hi, Vic <laughs> Should probably be able to say her name if we're going to recruit her to the team. Hello, Victoria Himalaya's cousin Seva. Welcome to the... Uh, we're going to evaluate her. We want high, high, high potential players. Robin Montgomery. Yes. Alexandra Iala. Yes. And what if we went to like the men's tour? Right. I guess we this wouldn't really work anymore. And we just went and got like 18-year-old Carlos Alcat. Like 
Carlos Alcatraz. Um, he's already ranked top 40 in the world, but we like, I don't know what we're going to be capable of doing. I don't know what we're going to be capable of like signing. Like, can we just sign this guy? Hello, Roger Zadell. I'm open to negotiating you with all years. What would you be offering me with your team? I mean, I'm thinking like key player, right? Wait, wait, we cancel negotiation. I really hope that doesn't, um, oh, well, that might, okay. That might, that might affect us a little bit. So we set up some scouting. We've set up our strategy. Uh, the objective is to reach an average satisfaction of at least 75% of the players uh, with regard to their sport goals, reach financial balance of at least 1.6 million at the end of the season. Cool. Recruit at least one top 20 player in the world. Interesting. Okay. Increase the reputation of the academy. Okay. And no dismissals of staff or players. Okay. Uh, presentation of the academy. Here's a brief presentation of the different aspects of the academy. Oh, do I have to like look at that? Oh, I have a prep. I can't escape press conferences. What made you decide to manage a tennis academy? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I has to do with my persistent love of tennis, my career and my youth, my desire to pass on what I know, my desire to win. What is your goal in coming here? This is Dana Jacob. Our objective is clear. We want to grow an organization and welcome the champions of tomorrow. How did you get name glitch on the board? That's Ali Ayal. Uh, it's a player that I've known for a long time. We had a chance to work together very briefly. Very happy to be able to collaborate. Uh, our staff's great. I think we can do better and strive. Uh, what do you think of the infrastructure? What are your investment priorities? I want to focus on training courts now for my players' the best conditions. Okay, cool. Press conference done. Sport goals for the season. So start the discussion. Coach, it seems obvious to me that we got to set the goals on the pro circuit. Okay. What rankings do you think I should aim for by the end of the season? Um, what do you guys think? What are we thinking? What do we think Ali I all wants? So that's what he proposed, and then I can, like, negotiate down. I'll do top 500. We should aim top 500. Sounds good to me. Got it. Uh, what are our goals for this tournament? National tournaments. Uh, the rookie 50s, rookie 20s, and rookie 10s. Uh, he wants to win one title. Um, I have no idea how hard that's going to be. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, should we set goals in the junior circuit? Sure. Do you want to set junior circuit goals? What ranking should I aim for? You want to be what? You want to be what? You want to be the best junior player in the world? Ali Isles coming here with the confidence. No, it started in top one. I can negotiate us down to top three. So it's not, this isn't like B. This is the, he wants to be the number one. You know what? Screw it. If he thinks he can do it, he probably can do it. We should aim for the best junior player in the world. Junior finals. Uh, Yeah, apparently we're going to win the title at the junior finals as well. I'm uncomfortable with this. Junior boys grand slam. Can we propose a final? Okay. This is, this is terrifying. I am, I am uncomfortable with the promises we have made. Got our training there. Uh, we want to go to the next there and then schedule a tournament. Registration is closed. So I'm really glad that we were on top of that from the very beginning. Um, what if we flew our player to China and played a junior boys 60 there? Okay, okay, okay. Seems like um, Asia just seems to be the way to go. So we're going to go to China and play a junior boys 60. And maybe if we win, we'll be like cooking with gasoline. I uh, finished the 50% of my evaluation on Carlos Alcatraz. Okay, he's dumb. He is dumb good. Hi, Carlos. 
I'd like to propose a contract. Hello. I'm all ears. Uh, you would be a key player at our academy. Yeah! Oh, contract length? Uh, four seasons. What are the financial conditions? Oh, all two million dollars of my money as a signing bonus will i do it share of the player's income that'll be donated to the academy how about five percent and then we pay your signing bonus is like half of the We only get 5% of the money he makes, but we also just landed like a ridiculously good player. He's 18 years old. He's 20th in the world. We finished half the scouting report and said he's probably going to be the next, uh, what, a, you know. We've been invited to a tournament in New Delhi, India. A wild card into the J the the, the two hundred in New around. Delhi. And now you're on tennis manager. Yes. I will take that. Okay, so I am playing Jamie Nikenzie. In the first round, we are both wild carded into the main draw because I don't know, I'm like a big name in the future of, of tennis, apparently. We're in Shenzhen, China. This is the lowest level tournament you can play in juniors. Let's go to the briefing. All right, briefing, interface. Before each match, your analyst provides you with analysis. The opponent gives you advice and their quality will depend on your analyst level, which is very high. You can also set your player's intensities and game plan for the start of match. Last year, opponent's stats can help you with your choices. You can choose to attend the match by entering the locker room or quickly simulate the match. Oh, we will be entering the match. We will be watching us play 13. We're playing a 13 year old. This is no way. This is this is totally mean. We're 17. We're 17 years old. We're playing a 13 year old from New Zealand. This is mean. McKenzie's in weak form. He's still in advance beyond the round of 32 in this tournament category. He plays most of the time as a power player with a big serve and a massive uh, forehand. Okay. He can switch his game plan to offensive baseline play or even varied play. Strengths or natural fitness and forehand power cannot serve well at all. It's going to be an easy match, and Ollie is in better form. Ollie uh, has to keep his cool and put pressure on his opponent. So we are going to go with... Let's see. So natural fitness and forehand power is strength, so we should attack a lot. Attacking play. We should go after them quickly so it's behind your head here but i'm setting it to attacking play against the five six 13 year old jamie nick <laughs> it's a pretty easy draw okay here we go before and after the match talks allow you to manage your player's mental state before during and after the match before the match pay attention is or a mental state at the beginning of the conversation and the impact of your words this can have a significant impact on his or her match start during the match you can ask to talk to him or at the end of each set Okay, watch the evolution of their mental state and find the right words to boost them if needed. At the end of the match, your player will be impacted by the result. The talk's important to get your player on track for upcoming matches. Got it. Okay. Confidence, anxious, uh, unfazed. Okay, Ali Isles doing um, uh, Mr. Thierry Henry here. If you want to steal the mic in front of the speaker and... The first option is if you win, I'll steal the microphone for the speaker and sing Saga Africa. I don't even know what that is. Don't worry, just because he's better ranked doesn't mean he's better than you. I like that. Now it's your time to shine. A match is never won in advance. You have all the qualities to turn the balance of power around. You're absolutely capable of taking the better of them. Give everything you have. Big game today. Put your heart in there. Now it's the time to shine. Can we concede before we get embarrassed? We're not going to get embarrassed. Listen carefully. Okay, cool. Go get him, baby. Let's go. Controlling the match display. A number of choices are available to help you out during the match itself. These are options. All right, we're going to turn up the uh, in-game volume here. Nice and quiet at this lowest level juniors tournament. <laughs> 
these options are accessible in the interface. So camera control, you got match speeds, default accelerated. No, just default. Hopefully you can do like key point stuff. Uh, four camera types, TV top. Okay, choice of view, live from the match, statistics, 3D analysis, choice of display options, default camera, key moments that automatically return to the default speed of the match. Okay, that's what I'm gonna need to set up. Intensity. This is why I need to get into like how I manage my player during the match. Your play. Your player will play the match the way you're prepared together for it. Pre uh, performance will be impacted by their mental and physical states. You will be able to intervene during the match in several ways. Modify the level of intensity for service games, return games, or keep points. Um, be careful, however, that more you ask of your player, the more their level of fatigue will risk deteriorating. Likewise, it can impact their mental state. Losing a game in which your player has played at maximum intensity will not only be exhausting physically, but also to a lesser extent mentally. The player's fatigue bar affects their risk of injury as well. Cool. Address your player during the match or at the end of a set via the chat button. You have the choices between a sudden injunction courtside or a real chat at the end of the set. You must uh, be at default speed or wait a few games before you'll be able to yell at your player again. Okay. Uh, they have hidden attributes in this game. Confidence, motivation, relaxation, and emotion. Each state specifically impacts the player's attributes either positively or negatively. The angry mental state can... Boost the player's service strength, but did time cause the player's accuracy and concentration to take a hit? Game plan. You can modify the game plan with a single click. Favor a game plan which has been mastered. Green circle over game plan which has been not. Uh, so I picked a game plan that's not been mastered. Love that. Uh, modify tactical instructions in an existing game plan, but be careful. Depending on the type of instruction, can impact the mastery of the original game plan. Uh, mentality respect for tactics the player more or less be free to make a move according to situation rather than rely on chosen tactical situations uh the player uh, okay so that's like a bar that i'm assuming we can shift will be there okay hey, this is first set pause wait what hold on fault second set dang it ah yeah yeah! 15 low. Yeah! Okay, how do we... 30 low. God, we're so good. We're gonna win Wimbledon this year. Second set. How do I pause? I, I need to pause. Okay, because I want to figure out how to, like, simulate and tell important points, because it said I could do that. Uh, highlights. So, tie breaks, set point, match point, break point. Uh, we'll take game point off. Like, if we're on serve, it doesn't matter. So we're already up 3-0. So that's how you do it. You simulate, and then you get... And now we have two break points. Come here, Jamie! Get out of here! Game. Four games too low. We're a little too good for this. We won 92% of... Thank you, uh, Red Lucky. Can I get an update, please? Uh, we... Yep. Yeah. We won every single second serve return point. Yeah, the other guy is uh, troubled. We're enthusiastic over here. Second set. I didn't realize this was us, so. Reassured. Uh, can I talk and just uh, don't be nasty? Oh, no, do be nasty. Maybe we lower our intensity levels. I don't know. Let's get to the next key point. We won our serve. Nice serve. A little serve and volley. Ooh. Game and first game. First game in the juniors, and we've won it 6 0 6 1. Absolutely brilliant performance. Uh, we won 51 of 64 points played. 3D analysis. Let's go to our talk. Let's go to the talk. These 13, calm down. A win is a win. Set. And we are playing against the number two seed in the whole tournament. Let's get it! Theo Hemmerman and Ali Ayal, the wild card who dominated Jamie McKenzie in the previous round. Briefing. Um, This will be an easy match. Okay, that's what my analyst says. Return and agility is the big advantage for 17-year-old Theo Hemmerman. Hemmerman. Okay, enter the locker room. What's up? How you doing? Show me how well you can do, even if I already know it. Nice. He's anxious, again. 
see more concentrated uh oh right because it like the like the 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 match written thing it thinks that i'm a girl so it, it always says you like you see more concentrated on the girl you're you see, oh wait no that was only in the press conferences so we have an option that says you see more concentrated on the girl you saw in the stands last time than on your own match realistic game uh big game today put all your heart into it there we go confident yes now appears more confident that's exactly what we want i dude i'm just a natural i don't know what to tell you all right here we go round of 16 in the shanghai juniors good shot oh yeah that's a good start all right so we should okay so oh we do have a break point let's go baby we got a break point right here full second service Hit it! Juice. One. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Why are we going for the like? Who are you, Roger Federer? Dude, it's your second professional match. Thank you. <laughs> like the fist bump turns around. <laughs> Good get. Oh, good get. Good get. Oh, you freaking juice. That was actually set point. We got another set point right here. We could win this set 6 1. I think we uh we might end up actually being very good on the junior level. Probably why my guy expects to win the juniors this year, even though he'd never played before. I will literally beat up a bunch of 12 year olds in this tournament in Shanghai and then celebrate the trophy like a Champions League final. That's my that's my full opinion on that. Showtime. Match point. We only have, we could have a lot of shots at this. Put him away. There you go. All me. All me. Focus on the next step. Tomorrow's another day. Good. We just got to keep him focused. I feel a complacency creeping in. All right. We got our next match. It is against Piotr Zakowski, who beat Jacob Keiling Wren in three sets in the previous round. Let's dominate. Let's dominate. Okay. Ollie. Okay. I'm getting little tips here. So apparently we should try to move our opponent to the net. I'm going to try varied play. We're comfortable with varied play. Um, you can definitely enter the big league with a win today. It's an important match. I know you're aware of it. I trust you. We've increased their confidence. That's all we needed. And now it's showtime. We're back on the court for the quarterfinals in Shanghai. I don't think Piotr Zhukowski is going to be able to hang with us. I don't know. I mean, we're only up one break, I suppose, right now. Now we could go up two breaks. Second service. Fold. Five games to one. I paid him for that double fault. Dude, our ability to preserve fatigue is so much Next. better than the people that we're playing against. I I make noises when my player shoots in solidarity with my player. Mamba played tennis at an incredibly high level, actually, uh, including when I was growing up. My dad was also a state champion in Illinois in tennis. So I come by my tennis knowledge, honestly. Oh, uh, well done. Focus on the next step. I mean, that's what we just got to keep doing. Keep them focused. We're playing Pavle Marzinko. Pavle, who beat Rafael Emer in straight sets in the previous round. Semi-final of the... Oh, not even to shake. I were in Shenzhen, China. I knew that briefing okay um there will it'll be an easy match apparently we just got to keep the cool put the pressure on the opponent target the opponent's backhand need to refocus your game oh i'm you're, they're stressed that's not good we've but we, we've butchered our talk for the first time but we're in the match for the semi-final stressed uh no i'm gonna encourage all right let's oh goodness oh no our stress oh no no Break point. We we're facing a break point for the first time in our competitive history. Nice shot. Oh, we're going to the net. Oh, for the love of all that's good and holy, that was a terrible decision. Okay. Oh, we, got all, we, we got two more shots at it. We're fine, I think. Oh. Yeah! 
All right, we're one set away for the finals. Apparently, the congratulate ups the emotions, so that's good. Oh, we're cooking now. Dude, can't win a game. Get off my court. That looked like it was in. <laughs> we'll take that call. Yeah, I mean, this okay, this was the most we've been pushed. And we still just... Oh, look at that. Bam! Right into the corner. Finals against uh, who? Nikola Govich. Another... Oh, no. Wait. We're playing another wild card. That means this person's definitely good. They're doing the same thing we did. Except they haven't been cooking people the way we've been cooking people. They've won in straight sets, but not as convincingly. So I'm still confident we'll be okay. It's going to be a balanced match. Oh, goodness. Uh, Nikola Govich is, is in better form than Ollie. Well, that's great. Uh, let's up the intensity on key points. Ollie has to keep cool and try to make his opponent run because that's a real weak spot for him. Uh, well, let's do offensive baseline play then. Let's play from the baseline and yeah, that's what we're going to do. You know, I believe in you, don't I? I know you're capable of taking the better of him. Give everything you have. A match is never won in advance. You have all the uh, I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. Confidence is fearful, though. That's, yeah, well, it is your first final. Come on. Nice. Oh, heartbreak. We're down to break. What is this witchcraft and wizardry going on? His sixth set. set point, and we're on our second serve. We're up against it. Nice shot. Coming to the net. No. No. I'm, I, I agree. I think we go to varied play here for the second. Um, varied play here. Come on, you can do it. Motivation increase. Game. Free game. All right, we need these. We need these key points. We're going to go all the way up on our intensity. This is a huge key point. <sighs> that I just accidentally skipped and we lost. So that's all part of the experience. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Nice get. Game and success. Didn't change anything. We changed our strategy at the end of the first set. What do you mean?